everyone. Welcome to Rangeley Lake up in Maine. Today I have a mobility class for you and we're going to focus on neck and shoulders with a little bit of spine and back as well. You're going to want two dish towels. One we're going to have folded like this and we're going to use it as a pad for our forehead towards the end of class when we come into a prone position. The other one we're going to have folded longwise like this. We're going to grab the ends. Now, if you're pretty tight through the shoulders, you might wanna use a yoga strap instead of a dish towel for that so that you can have a wider uh, grip and that's just gonna allow for a little more freedom of movement through the shoulders. So that is an option. But to start, we won't need them. We're gonna start focusing in on the neck. So I want you to find a comfortable cross-legged position. We're gonna make sure we're neutral through the spine. I just wanna make sure that my mic isn't muffled. I'm not like, <laughs> like revealing my chest. Hands can rest lightly on your knees. And we're going to start by just bringing one ear down towards that same shoulder. And then we're going to come up through center and over to the other side. Think of growing tall through center slowly through this pausing in that side bend position through the neck, staying upright and neutral through the rest of the spine, just at your own pace going side to side. I'm filming this class selfishly because I slept really weird last night and my neck and shoulders have kind of been bothering me today. So this is exactly what my body is asking for. Let's do one more to either side. And this time when you're over to the left, so mirroring me, I want you to stay in this side position. So left ear towards left shoulder, and we're gonna rotate. So you're gonna rotate, gaze towards the floor, and then you're gonna rotate, gaze slightly up, but stay within a range that feels safe for you. Now, as we do this, let's take the right fingertips and let's just tent them out to the side to kind of increase that stretch through this sideline. Give me one more rotating down and up. Come through center so that you're facing me. And then let's take this up and over to the right. So right ear through to right shoulder. And then we start to rotate down towards the floor and up towards the sky. And let's take those left fingertips and tent them out wide on the floor. Give me one more. Come through center so you're in the side bend, but you're facing me. And from here, we're gonna do a bottom half circle, okay? So we're going to start to drop chin to chest, and then we're going to bring left ear towards left shoulder, and then we just reverse it, chin to chest, ear to shoulder. We're not doing the top half. We will address that later. Let's do one more to either side. And then I want you to pause with your chin down towards your chest. And we're just going to shift the gaze up so that the neck is neutral. So I'm just gonna to turn to face the side so that you can better see what we're going to do here. We're gonna focus on a glide back of the skull. So first though, I want you to make sure that we're neutral, we're relaxed through the shoulders. And it's just gonna be a little slide back of the skull. It's gonna feel awkward and forward. So it might be helpful to actually bring your fingertips to your chin and just gently press it back and forward. It's like you're intentionally trying to give yourself a double chin. So it might feel weird, but just picture bringing the ears back over your shoulders and then release. Now, if you are someone who has a forward neck position, which I do, my head is slightly forward, then this is a great exercise to do. If you are someone who is already pretty naturally neutral through your neck, then you might find that this movement is very, very small. Now it's not a tuck down of the chin. Picture your level on a table and you're just sliding straight back. Now we're gonna make a little combo of this, adding in a tilt up of the chin. So first I want you to slide back. And then in this position, I want you to tilt up only as far as feels safe. 
level the chin, and then release. Keep going like that. Now I know for me, if I don't first do that little slide back, tilting my chin up feels very uncomfortable. When I first slide it back into alignment and then tilt it up, it feels much safer for me. So notice if the same is for you, and it might not be. Let's do one more like this, and then we're gonna grab our dish towel. Level the chin, and now we're going to grab our dish towel, but we're gonna keep working that same movement. So you wanna grab the dish towel that is long, and we're gonna grab the ends of it, and you're gonna bring that towel to the base of your skull. So not on your neck, base of the skull. Elbows are wide and forward, and we're gonna pull on the ends of the towel to create tension. Now we're gonna do that same little slide, but now we have some resistance, okay? So first make sure your chin is level, and then from here, let's do that slide back again. Picture you're trying to give yourself a double chin. You're creating gentle traction from the towel as you push back against it. When you're at your farthest point, you're just gonna hold here for a few seconds. Keep pressing the skull back, trying to slide it back as the hands track forward. Creating tension here, this is a great exercise. If you have a forward neck position, it's called tech neck sometimes, I certainly do. Mine started when I was young, just from being tall and slouching all the time, but this is a great exercise to practice strengthening the muscles in your neck that pull the head into more of a neutral alignment. Now I want you to relax the tension. You can lower the dish towel to your shoulders for a second. We're gonna do that twice more. So let's bring that dish towel back to the base of our skull. We're gonna slide the chin back and then increase tension on the towel, pushing the back of your head into the towel, creating traction here. Breathe. One more breath. And then I want you to release. You can lower that towel to your shoulders. We're gonna do that one more time, okay? And then we're gonna shift the focus away from the neck more into shoulders. So we return that dish towel to the base of our skull. Elbows forward but wide. Let's slide that chin back again, think double chin, and then increase tension on the towel and hold. Don't hold your breath through this, we're breathing. Give me one more breath. And then from here, we can release the towel and lower it down. We're gonna grab it again in a second, but first I'm just gonna turn to face you. I'm actually gonna take my shirt off so that it doesn't get into the mic as we move into this next part. So we're gonna shift the focus now a little more into our shoulder blades. There are six movements available to our scapula, our shoulder blades, retraction, protraction, elevation, depression, upward rotation, downward rotation, we're gonna do all of those, okay? So to start, I want you to just have your arms down by your side and we're just gonna shrug the shoulders up towards our ears and then relax and let them fall and let them really hang heavy. We're gonna slide them up towards our ears and relax them down. Maintain length through the neck. You know, sound carries so well across the water. I can hear our neighbors across the lake talking. They can probably hear me. They're probably like, what the heck is going on over there? One more here, shrug, relax. And then from here, I want you to bring your arms forward, parallel palms face in towards each other. They're about shoulders distance apart. We're gonna retract and protract the shoulder blade. So I should actually face back to the side for this one. So to protract, you're gonna to start to reach those arms forward, the shoulder blades get wide across your back. And then as you retract, the opposite happens. Those scapula, the shoulder blades start to glide in towards each other as the arms move back. Keep moving like that, protraction and retraction. Now, as you do this, we don't wanna change the shape of our spine, so we're maintaining neutral. We're not jutting our neck forward and back to counter the movement of the arms. And I want you to picture you're holding like a paper towel roll in your hands. So the distance between them stays equal the whole time. Keep going, I'm just gonna give you one more view so you can see my shoulder blades move here. They widen and glide in. 
Now we're just going to add on to this. When you do the retraction, we'll add in a reverse fly. So you're going to retract the shoulder blades, slide them in towards each other, and then holding them retracted, you're just going to open those arms up wide without flaring the ribs. Bring them back in parallel, glide through neutral and into protraction. Keep moving like that. So our scapula are gliding across the back of our rib cage. Now, next time you come into that reverse fly, you're going to hold the arms open. Make sure you're neutral through the spine so you're not flaring open through the ribs. And we're just going to windshield wiper the arms. We're going to sweep them down, tapping the floor, and we're going to sweep them up overhead. So now we're getting some upward and downward rotation of the shoulder blades. Again, I said there were six movements. We've done elevation and depression. That was the shrugging of the shoulders and relaxing. We've done retraction and protraction. And now we're doing that sweep. We're gonna grab the dish towel up next and we're gonna invite in some movement of the spine that'll feel really good along with continuing to work on our shoulder mobility. Give me one more sweep down, overhead, and then let's grab that dish towel again, the one that we're holding lengthwise. So I will turn to face you. I'm just spinning around all directions here. So we're gonna grab that dish towel at its ends and we want tension on it, okay? So we're pulling out constantly and gently, all right? Palms are gonna face down and I just want you to lower and lift, sweeping them up and down. Now you're only gonna, our goal is to sweep them overhead so that the arms kind of come in line with your ears. If you're not getting there, I would try a yoga strap so your arms can be a little wider. And if you're still not getting there, that's okay. Just lift up as high as you can. We're moving through the shoulder joint. We're not compensating by moving through the spine. So what I mean by that is if you're getting your arms overhead, but you're doing so by flaring open through the ribs and arching into your lower back, that's not what we want, okay? Maintaining neutral through the spine, move within the shoulder joint. Now we're gonna hold overhead. We're gonna do a combo that I think feels really good. So next time you lift those arms overhead, you're gonna hold them overhead. Grow tall through the spine. Now we're gonna side bend up and over to the left. And then within this side bend, you're gonna exhale and you're gonna rotate through the mid spine. Now from here, holding this rotation, I want you to lower down and you're gonna lift up and we're gonna reverse that. So undo the rotation, you're facing me, but you're in the side bend. Come up tall and let's take it over to the other side. Side bend to the right. Exhale to rotate towards the floor. Lower the arms, reaching them long. Lift them up. We rotate to center. Come up out of your side bend, other side. Continue to move through this. Keep tension on the dish towel so we're gently pulling out as we do this. We're gonna do one more to either side. Last time we side bend, rotate, lower, lift, rotate, come up tall. All right, now we're gonna go back to that sweep down and up, but we're gonna add in a pull down behind our head. So we lower the arms in front of us. We lift them overhead. Now you're gonna bend the elbows. Can you bring that dish towel behind your head without jutting your head forward, okay? Then keep it back in alignment, shoulders over ears. Reach it back overhead, sweep it down. Now, if getting that towel behind your head isn't happening, Again, yoga strap will help a lot because you can have your hands wider. I don't want you to jut the head forward to accomplish that pull down. And I also don't want you to arch into your lower back and flare the ribs, which we were talking about earlier, okay? So we remain upright, challenging the mobility of that shoulder joint. Now we're doing this seated because we're gonna do a similar movement later in a prone position. It can feel a little more intense when we go prone. So I first wanted to do it in this position. Give me one more. And lower that towel down. Okay, we're gonna to come to a prone position. We're gonna use our second dish towel as a pad for our forehead. So we can stay a little more relaxed through the back of our neck, at least to start. So you're gonna put that down and you're gonna want your other towel as well. I am like way too tall for this deck. So I'm gonna be a little bit hanging off the ends and that is okay. 
So I'm going to do this with my legs parallel and about hips distance apart. If you start to feel a lot of pressure in your lower back though, I would recommend separating your legs wide and maybe even externally rotating them, okay? So you can play around with that. Now we're going to need to brace through the core here so that we maintain neutral through the lower back. And then I want you to grab the second dish towel by its ends. We're going to rest our forehead on the first dish towel like a little pad so that our nose is just lightly tapping the floor, but we don't have to hold it lifted, okay? We can kind of relax it down into that dish towel, maintaining length here. And then we're gonna take our arms stretched out overhead, and I want you to grip the towel between your thumbs like this, so that the palms face in and the thumbs point up, and the dish towel is in that circle between your thumbs and pointer fingers, okay? Now reaching those arms forward, let's start by just lifting and lowering them. So you're gonna lift the arms up and lower down. Exhale to lift, brace through the core, and lower. It doesn't have to be a huge movement. Gently pull out on that dish towel. Now let's think back to the move we did seated. We're gonna add in that pull down behind our head. So you're gonna lift, you're gonna bend the elbows, pulling that dish towel back behind your head. You're gonna reach the arms forward, you're gonna lower down, keep moving in this combo. Three more. Last time. This time when you reach your arms straight overhead, I want you to hold here, they're at a hover. Now we're gonna grow long through our spine, slight shift up of the gaze as you come into a spinal extension from that mid back and lower down. It is so small, okay? Think length and lift through the mid back, stay neutral through the lower back. Brace through your core, so make sure you're breathing. Just two more. Next time up, you're gonna hold for me. Come into that extension, hold. Can you get your arms one inch higher? You're here for four, three, two, one. Bend the elbows, bring the towel in, one cheek comes down to the mat, bend the knees and just windshield wiper. So here's the deal, we're going to do that again, and I'm gonna give you the option to do it without the padding under your forehead. If you choose to do it without the padding under your forehead, these, neck, these muscles along the back of your neck are gonna have to work to keep your neck in alignment. You're not gonna be able to just rest it down. If that feels like it's too intense, keep the pad under your forehead, okay? Your choice. I will, I'll ditch it, why not, <laughs> okay? So let's lay down. This time, nose lightly hovering over the mat, length through the back of the neck, grip that, dish towel at its ends, reach your arms forward, keeping the nose lightly tapping the mat. You're just gonna lift and lower the arms. Reach long and up. Add in the pull down. So you lift, pull the towel behind your head. Reach it long and lower. Keep going in that combo. You're almost done with the hard work. We'll finish up class with some feel good stuff. Give me just two more here. Last time. Oh, I just realized I was doing it with the wrong rotation, whatever. That's okay. All right, with your arms forward, now we're gonna come into that extension. So reach long through the crown of the head, come up. So I wanted palms in, thumbs up. I was just doing it with palms facing down. Not the end of the world, okay? If you switched your rotation to to follow me, absolutely fine, okay? Lift up from the mid back and lower. Don't crane your neck, okay? So the lift comes from your mid back. The upper spine, the cervical spine just follows. Don't lead with the cervical spine and tilt your chin up. Next time you lift up, we're gonna hold. Hold, can you get the arms one inch higher? We're here for four, for three, two, one, you're done with the dish towel. Lower your other cheek to the mat, bend the knees, windshield wiper them side to side. 
Coming through center, I want you to bring your hands under your shoulders and you're gonna press yourself up and back into a child's pose. Now from child's pose, I want you to come forward into a tabletop. I want you to tuck your toes under, lift the hips up, heels down towards a down dog. You might need to step your feet back a couple inches to give yourself more space. I want you to think of pressing your chest towards your thighs here. Now I want to finish with a little release for the cervical spine, for the neck. So I want you to walk your hands in towards your feet, coming into a forward fold. I'm just going to turn to face you. Feet are about hips distance apart. Now from this forward fold position, you're going to interlace your fingers at the base of your skull, and you're going to let your elbows just hang down heavy. So our arms are creating some traction through the neck and upper and mid spine. And we're just going to stay in this position and breathe. You're going to inhale deeply, directing that breath into your back. And every exhale, think of melting a little deeper into this pose, relaxing through the neck, just letting that head, head hang a little heavier. Now, if this feels too intense, unhook your hands from the base of your skull and just let them hang down to the floor, or maybe grab opposite elbow with opposite hand, okay? Otherwise, we're going to stay here for a few breaths. And one more deep breath. And now I want you to release your hands, let them hang heavy. And I want you to heel toe your feet out wide, still in this forward fold. Once they're wide, I want you to grab opposite elbow with opposite hand, unlock through the knees, and you're just gonna start swaying side to side for me. As you sway, you can add a little bend to the knee. Just release, let go of everything. Give me four, three, two, one. Settle in center, release your elbows. I want you to heel toe your feet in towards each other. And then very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, you're gonna roll it up to stand. As you do, I want you to inhale, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, release. And that is your class. I hope you're feeling good after that. Oh, I am through my neck. Oh, it's been driving me crazy all day. I feel so much better. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did and you also enjoyed this backdrop. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>